old man. We will now hear from our old friend, Mr. Zilch. Yes, sir. Unaccustomed as I am to making public speeches, now that I've been called upon by you, it gives me greatest pleasure. I might say it's speeches. I don't know how to start or what to do. <laughs> there are much more clever speakers here than I, if you know that. But as long as I'm requested, well, well, I'll try. I thank you, my friend. <laughs> well, that all depends. <laughs> really, uh, I don't know. Uh, occasions like this, uh, I just, uh, I can't, uh, well, if you insist. <laughs> I thank you again. Uh, now, if you'll all quiet down. I, uh, oh, here's a story that I heard about two hummingbirds. Let me see, how does it go? Oh, I forget the words. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you, my friend. I, I think you'd better call on Mr. Brown. <laughs> oh, say, now you got me in Dutch. No, 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 I stutter too much. Gee, gee, I feel like a great, great big gawk. What do you call on me for? You know, I, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you so, so much. Now, now as I look around, around, around the room, you, you know, it, it, it reminds me of the day I, I spent out. Let, let me see. Was it in November or down in Kankakee? <laughs> I just thank you, my friend. I think you better call on someone else. <laughs> Just remember, it's your country, my dear Zabadee. Hey, 